Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with part 13 of Pyre. Um, sorry for saying it was part 13 last time, it was actually part 12. But yeah, let's commence the liberation right. Once more, the time has come for the liberation right. Where one among you can go free if you prevail. Freedom is likewise at stake for adversaries to fate. As your companions gather under the fall, awaiting the commencement of this vital right, the little mister finds you and regards you in his calm fashion. Night is falling. These moments, prior to each commencement, I must admit, they give me pause. Knowing so much is at stake during the trial that is to come. Tell me something, would you, reader, to ease the waiting for us both? I travel far and wide, even beyond these lands. However, the Commonwealth, I know only through a word and song. I sometimes think on what life would be like out there. If you are not a star within this place, and free to roam the country, what would you have done with all your days and years rather than starving here under the stars? What would you have done with yourself in the Commonwealth? Um... Maybe you would have fought for freedom. Perhaps it was inevitable that you were to be cast to exile. You cannot abide the state of things within the Commonwealth. There is so much need to be changed there. That's too tired, it it seems then that you have faced a greater challenge there than even here. Your Commonwealth, which sounds to be a country rather set upon its ways. Of course, that is the nature and ambition of the plan of which you are a part. May your actions here help bring about the future you desired under the side. Just then, the lone mister looks forward and you see that it's time. Stars above, though faint, begin to burn. Stars that yet remain aflame align once more over the sacred fall of Solium. Twas here that the eight scribes ordained glorious tradition in which you now participate. The glorious tradition which you and that instigator Wolfred seek to undermine. Tis my sincerest hope your adversaries in this liberation rite Achieve instead what they desire. May the fate soon quench those flames of yours. Let us get on with the proceedings then. The pyres burn, and each of the triumphs is present and prepared. I concur. The pyres burn, and each of the triumphs is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the fate, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects to have your adversaries the Nightwings. The bent old cur, Dalbert, steps forward and struggles for a moment with his mask. Greetings, good heralds. I am called Dalbert Oldheart. It is the greatest honor of my ears to stand upon the sacred right side. Upon which the eight scribes first anointed this glorious proceedings. Nightwings, we are honored to be in your presence once more. Father, they are adversaries, not our hosts. We need not be so gentle with them. They shall do their utmost to keep you from freedom. <laughs> Dalbert, your son speaks out of turn. Control him. My sincerest apologies for his un unnecessary outburst. Almer, please. We are worked towards this opportunity and must make the most of it. He puts his mask back on. My son and I stand ready to begin. Nightwings, on whose behalf shall you conduct this liberation rite? Choose quickly. May you heed your heart in making your choice, reader. I trust you are prepared to play the highs of the Atari. Always love. Whom do you endeavor to return? May. Oh, you mean me? That I get to go home? But they strive. What did they still want me to say? Who shall strive for her? Canada. This one's for you then, Rita darling. And I suppose for her. Bertrude. Then we shall do what is within our power for that one. Predictably. We give thanks to have this opportunity to face the old nightlings. Now, let us strive to our fullest capability with honor and with grace. Save your states to the right water and for the Voyage home. Let us be our final battle against them. 
Let's go. You did this, Oliver. I believe in you. But so do the stars. Wait, what? What is this? What are you talking about? This is a liberation right? What are you doing? I... May pulls out her mask. I think you are my friend, Oliver. And so I'm hoping for the best for you and for your father. He believes in you. So do I. But we have to do our very best as well. And I know we can all prevail. Only the fate or the night wings will not both. Not both. <sighs> Oliver looks on in stunned silence. The Oliver seems to have disarmed everyone. We all have to do our very best, and then the scars they going to watch over us and make everything okay. You see, Elmer, you see. She puts her mask back on as liberation right continues. Whatever words was their adversaries are involved in them, you cannot tell. Thou, O noble Jomir, for we beseech you. Sure, we cannot prevail without your aid. If ever you have heard my prayers, I beg of you, please fall upon us now. Whether for his prayers to the skies, it's simply for the Alberts to resolve. Something comes over your fellow styles here. If they are banished now, they shall not soon return. Damn. Adversaries, they defeated utterly. Thus ends the liberation right. And thus, the scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free, absolved of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. Draw some feeling. Alas, my son, once more it seems that I failed you. Father, wait! What good is freedom to us anyways? We will be apart. I can go home. I think this means I can go home. She shuts her eyes. By disguise, by disguise. But what will happen now to you? To all of you? Can you not come with me? No, no, they say not yet. Disguise, they say not yet. Although, I think your time will come. Your time will come. And I will wait for you because I don't have friends back home. At least I didn't used to. So I want you to come join me there, okay? But now, disguise to call me. And so, goodbye. She falls to the shiver pool, then, and she is gone. Yes, Goodbye, and please, oh stars, watch over them, okay? May, earn back her freedom. May she, may she return in glory. Godspeed, moon-touched one. Perhaps the scribes are watching, even now. Watching as their glorious draws to a close. Now take your execrable companion someplace else. Father, wait! 
Yes. Calm yourself, my son. The liberation rites is under. Oh. But no, how can you be so calm, even after what happened? You just started this guy with all your heart, Homer. Yes, but it was not enough. It was not enough. No, my son. It was enough. It was more than enough. Father. He prevailed in the liberation against the fate. Already does Black Oak can feel quieter than usual without May. Well, who returned to Kazo? He overhears some of your companions reflecting on this. She's gone, just as I was getting to like her. We shall make do without her here. Do you wonder who, if anyone, among you shall be the next to go? Our plan approaches a key turning point. Let us ensure it soon comes to fruition, not only for ourselves here, but for our companions and our loved ones in the Commonwealth. But we have little time now for, for reflection onto this. Look yonder, reader. The stars demand we go already. Let us help them usher in the end of all this. You turn your attention to Gamer of the Stars. Their current rate of disappearance suggests another liberation right shall be coming very soon. The few remaining stars still shine for you. Now the stars bid you to return to the cairn of Ha'u, where you shall stand against the chastity once again. Your adversary, each manly tinder saw, blocking those cycle of the rites drawing to a close. His last remaining chance to earn the favor of the stars, and then regain his freedom like it hinges on the outcome of this next rite. The cycle of the rites is soon to end. The exiles of the downside, starving to be free, your adversary, your companions, even you yourself, are running out of time. After the liberation of May, you find the little minister back in the wagon, looking as though no such thing has just occurred this time. You think you see until this head as you approach. Some words of congratulations are in order for this evening, I think, reader, and so. Congratulations on prevailing in the liberation right. Surely May shall be most grateful, and the safe return into your commonwealth I'll benefit the plan in which you all now play a part. As for adversities of the faith, this must have been a bitter loss for them and Albert, although they must have known their chance was far for certain. Thus shall we all wait the next turn of the cycle of the rites, so let's deny to return to our respective duties for the time, as now, Scar's Gate is sealed. I await when next we all shall meet, but next you may yet live up to the glory of the nightmares in the eyes of the ace guys, which yet shall shine down for us. He trails off the nose, nods to you in his cordial manner, and bids you a good rest of the evening. Dawn, your companions are prepared to depart. Everyone is silent. Your travels are to take you back to the Cairn of Ha'u, but soon after the stars shall draw you here again. The forbidding cairn of Hollow lies below. Not many cells see fit to cross beyond it. Some fear that the listless remains of Shack's six shoulders shall snatch them up if they attempt to cross. Others simply do not want to pass through to flagging hand. Few so you know its true significance as you do, although your adversary's atrocity should be on their way there now. Soon you shall confront them once again. Spend a quiet afternoon in the dusty waste of Lickstand, serving the aerial of some of your companions. Our search produces nothing of import. This night's keen eyes, but there's nothing significant nearby. Your investigation yields nothing of note. 
The three of you return to the wagon for the remainder of the day, where you should have time to pursue your vacations. Hey guys, say, what if I do a mini party or something? You know, the loopy one, Freezy Hero is hunting all the merchandise. I liked her. Uh, guys are really my favorite customers now. <laughs> Everything is repaired, and I was just beginning to take hold about the barren waste of care and of hope when Volvrick gets your attention. Reader, I suppose I remember our first meeting with that man he turned himself. You will be mortified, of course, if you forgot. I will say that he's an embarrassment to my kind, but unfortunately, I know many others like him. We are a discontented people, I suppose. Anyway, when last we saw him, you might recall that I avoided him. We are not good acquaintances or anything, but he knows enough people in high places that he could be harmful to our plan, should he know of my involvement, and so. Volver Dawn's a spiritual man. I shall have to be discreet here. As I am with the Nightwings once again, I can no longer hide from him outright. Perhaps so he shall take me for a common stop. Anyhow, it seems to me we have a right to conduct. Reader, it seems the stars once more have mustered wherewithal to usher in the rites. The sky grows dimmer by the day, and age is ending. Surely you must know by now that you shall never all be free. Yet still you struggle to fulfill some senseless plan. But I digress, of course. Some of us still honor the tradition. Some of us hold dear the teachings of the scribes. Oh no, some of a looter. Oh my my, what have we here? Why the Nine Rings could the graces with their presence once again? Our Emperor's attend upon you many and is even more at the last time. He sent Wolver reaching out to you. Reader, let us indulge him for the time. Perhaps he shall reveal something he used to provide a dissentive for his meddling. Just let it let him keep on talking. I shall attempt to remain hidden. And oh my, the colors of this diamonds. I mean, they're rather gaudy as I have to say, so I mean no offense at this, of course. So, do you suppose the ride is going to commence soon? As much as I enjoy our chat like this, I do have to get going soon. If you must know why, I'm expecting an important message from the other side of us. Come down, I hear something's brewing up just to sort of unrest from me. So yes, it's a very important message that's all display, but when it's the same couriers, then I must say those little things. The services are certainly not cheap. Though, so I'm sure that I could get you a good deal on your services if you wish, perhaps, to contact a loved one back home. home. All I ask, of course, is that you stand aside and let the chassis prevail as well as you want. For I have a day with destiny not long for now, upon the fall of Solion. He, can even, he continues talking for some time until at last, the right is set to start. Oh my my, look at this wonderful assembly exiles come from all different corners and such a colorful retinue you and nine wings have. You know, I heard the most preposterous rumors about you, that you're harboring an especially notorious criminal, one who has designs upon the commonwealth itself. He looks right at Fulfred. But I really could not imagine such outlandish tales could possibly be true. Anyhow, so we'd like to meet everyone here. Hello, good Nightwings. I am H. Manly Tindristop, and truly it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Manly has ensured on your privacy except to choosing your triumvirate. You can all be less welcome. He seems to be searching for someone in the rain. Manly seems very interested in your triumvirate. Ask him to leave politely. He suggests to Manly that perhaps they ought to check on his own triumphant and to keep all his part to the right. Why well, yes, of course, of course, I was just taking the opportunity to bid all of you salutations, for I so enjoy getting to meet my own fellow stars face to face like this. Cause like, if you break his limbs, I think he's gonna be more suspicious. 
yes, yes, there may be rules against this type of thing, but who's counting, am I right? Am I right? I'm sure this guy's little mind is over here. Anyway, now that you mention it, I have to go check on my wonderful colleagues. See you shortly, and good luck. Now that he leaves, at last, leaving you to focus on the right again. Who shall it be this time? Who shall it be this time? Like, he's just, he just sounds so tired. Set. That insufferable step flight to front of and then the first thing we like to pick apart. Are you quite ready at all, Nightwings? I doubt you are. Because my colleagues at the Chessie and I, we have a trick or two we think shall take you by surprise. Just watch. Okay, let's go. The orb commence. The Nightwings are the best to strike. Yourselves wide open. Didn't see it coming. Tamatha has doused the flame. No, no, let's just be reasonable here. If gold and opportunity to throw it away. Oh, but we had a deal. This cannot be happening. The party is next week. Everyone, mother, father, day. What shall they- I cannot attend. Oh, but our good family name. I asked you gently one last time, hmm? Yield and our victory shall be shared, for I have friends, you know, who can make life more comfortable for you, or stand against me and regret it. I almost did it what transpired. Uh, your fire weakens. <laughs> Name of Solium Murph. Well, now that was exciting. <laughs> A decisive blow. Wings have served the truth. Now, end the ceremony. And it is done. Fine, yes, you prevailed again. Meanwhile, their adversaries wallow in defeat. The right is done. My word, how could this happen to me? You disciple, ignorant, utterly uncaused path of fools. Have you any idea what you've done? Wolfer watches the outburst of silence. Keep spouting off like that, Molly. It shall reveal all we need to know. You harvest such a fear within your heart there, don't you? Coming from aristocracy and now in exile, how they must speak of you. What would they think if you don't get out? Or even if you do? Wolfer remains deep in thought, studying his adversary. There, I see. I see now. Then Volver sees into the shadows. Oh. What? My head? Ooh. Oh, I... I believe there must be some mistake. I have to go. Ta-ta! Not any meaning to you now. It's been a pleasure. Generally so. Now he stumbles away in a stupor. And there he goes. I've, I've lifted certain burdens from him for the time. A bit of mercy for his sake. For my people's sake. As well, I should ensure he has no lasting memory of our encounter here or running into me. Now, let's be off before he catches up with us again. The rights do tend to teach something of trust. The might of the sea sojourner.
until the next right, if there even is to be another one. Inside the wagon, at the prevailing order of chassis, Pamita is discussing aspects of the outcome of the others and the low mist of CCL. Pardon the Terrestrian reader, though I need to have some of your time, while the night is clear enough for you to see. Please, come have a look outside. Perhaps the news every next to the station may further stir the hearts of her companions. Among one star is yet remaining shining in the night, one of them now burns as bright as ever you have seen. The path to freedom calls to you again. Michael turns even more quickly now, until such time as the shell shudder to a halt. He makes a sound then, almost like a laugh. I forget myself, reader. I should not say such things. The scribes, they will say that one out to focus on the past in front of him. When we set forth to walk along a labor path, it can all be all too much if we stand back and look upon it as a whole. We may as well decide to turn around. But if we begin to walk, whilst casting down our gaze, and whilst resisting while the urge to look too far ahead, we may make steady, careful progress. Some sort of Soon enough, we may arrive where we end the road. So, Miss, we'll bid you good evening. You have best retire for tonight. For when first day I comes, it shall be time again to take the skies. Reels to the impact of some sort of massive object slamming into a mist white. False Nightwings. Aurora calls down to all of you from the top of his wagon. Again, you seek to conduct a cursed mountain beneath us. Again, you seek to take my rightful place. I shall send you crashing down to it, that you might fall as I have. He stares down all of you. But, I shall not. Rather, we shall meet upon the summit, or the last cycle of the right descended. Until then. Hey God named the Sacred Mount Oldale after their encounter with Orog. Orog spoke the truth. He has the right to gain the summit. When the time comes, Celestial Demon Worthy shall let him pass. While he has Chang'e's against the rights, he was also he has also already been anointed and prevailed. Nothing is written in the Blood Contest, and Liberty Out already be his. For the time, seems that he has not traveled to the summit. Perhaps he is still making preparations for his fellow exiles. When exactly, Orlok intends to make good on his promise, he did not make clear. For now, you have to confirm Parker and the dissidents upon the summit. But first, you may prepare. Later that afternoon, you accompany Pamita through the old main scenario of Temple High Road to the monument of Luz Galorian. What do you do when all this is over, Pamita? Are you going to run away? Let's face it, you're probably not getting out of here. So then, you can either go live out your days under some rocks somewhere, or maybe these who call you their friend. Maybe they mean it? You return to wagon after she's finished paying your respects. If someone awaits, but first, there's time to continue practicing your vocation. Time the game. Two plus presents for the next right. A messenger and but news and rumors from the other side some attracts you down into the sublime grandeur of Mount Elodio. The next message pertains to May, who he liberated to follow Soliam, and whose past transgressions have all been forgotten since her return to Calmo. He learned that she was taken in by a well to do foster family and was to be given private schooling at the highest order and the uh, astralis tradition. They promised her that in time she might one day have the honor of teaching children at Calmo herself. 
However, she soon went her own way, insisting that Ace, Garth, and those were calling her. She started wondering again all on her own. That was until she located hope for his ancients. Thus, their wondering ceased, and the ranks of the revolution grow stronger. They also left a simple message. Believe in disguise. You thank the messenger in for the report, as their companions gathered to discuss. Small in stature was the goodly may, yet great indeed in spirit, even though this thing remains in all of her. She better be more careful, else they throw her right back in here with the rest of us. She asked the manner, but she knows in her heart the traditions of the scars. That one, very powerful indeed, sources the swords, a certain air about her, most intriguing. The news of May's liberation fills in your fellow selves the new bar resolve. Your, your companions, gain, one plus hope for next right, wish May luck. You are returned once more to Skysgate, where the gate guardian awaits under the sky. The exiles of the Nightlings, and you, Tariq, this has to be... This is to be one of our final meetings. <laughs> Greetings, Celeste. The Nightwings are prepared, and afterwards I will work with you, in private if you please. <laughs> it seems to be rather late for words now, Tariq, but I shall hear them once your charges cross the gate. <laughs> now, all of you, come forth. Please say your names and when it is that you seek whilst crossing skies. Once more, your companions cross the gate, one after another, and once more, you follow them in turn. Celeste regards you all, then waits you through. Toward the summit. Stay skies bid the Nightwing's welcome. Go forth to glory. And Tariq, a Celeste, you may join the others in a while. For now, I'll hear those words of yours. Certainly, Celeste. My voice is sighing. Sorry. Everyone, I shall see you so shortly. The planes that sleep below To the canyons open wide Oh, hey guys, it's not a real Coca Cola paper here, but, but, but it's a war data. Let me tell you, there's not a lot of customers stopping by. Okay, I remember up have been exaggerating just a little. I've been waiting here a little while. You guys play something? Oh my god. Through hill and valley. The canyons open wide. Singing songs of gentle morning. For his lost and lonesome bride. For his lost and lonesome bride. They're leaving, Dad. Just look at how much you got this time. Time has come again to deliver one of your fellow sons to a homecoming and to the Commonwealth, lest your adversaries, the dissidents, achieve the same instead. The little minister was returned, and unfortunately as he awaited the signal for the stars. There's something that I wish to ask you, reader, something which ordinarily would not be my place to discuss in any detail. You have observed the stars. You have not mind me my asking you such a dark matter. How many liberation rights are you supposing yet remain? Have you deduced how many revelation rights are still to come? Is this the very last? You guess that perhaps this is the very... This is to be the very last liberation, right? That the stars will continue evading and all. But the little mister only shakes his head. That's my mage. Nay, reader sir. More than one remains. Provided that you also count this liberation, right? Commencing any moment. I wish to make certain that you are aware. So that you and your you and the Nightwings may yet make the most of the remaining time together with us. As to what shall happen once the final liberation rite is ended, we soon shall both find out. Below, it seems that we are called upon once more. Look forward. Reader, I would ask that you think back for just a moment, if you please. When you first looked upon the Book of Rites, think back upon the words that it revealed. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oblige the voice that tells you more! Would that the scribes were here among us still. 
I will not sing your praises to them, rest assured. I trust that you shall savor this occasion. You shan't have to oblige me for much longer. The powers burn. Ancient triumph is present and prepared. I concur. The powers burn. Ancient triumph is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the descendants, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects to the your adversaries, the Nightwing. Marker bursts in some hidden corner, laughing as he paws out his mask. A real pleasure to be here, mate, truly. Barker Ashpaws, call me Barker, alright, by the by, it was a real piss of getting here, you know. Begging your pardon, Barker Ashpaws, he says we speak upon the summit of the sacred mountain. Oh my, so terribly sorry to have offended you there, Lassie. I forgot we got the stars about out there to make me watch my the language. So let's get one thing straight, Lassie. I don't give a bother for you sacred mountain, so you take it and you shove it. Me and my pack, we be here just for the last, you got that? The other side ain't any better than this one. We ain't interested in your freedom. But, just saying, we gotta take it. Take it from those wee little bays, they're so antsy for it. Here at Iron Islands, we better put up a good fight here, and I ain't gonna be happy, on spam. Then he shows his mask back on. Right, come on, then. Let's hurry up and get this damn thing started. Nightwings, your choice. In whose name shall you conduct this liberation rite? I wish you to free the wisdom of this guy's in making your choice, reader. And I wish you to come prepare our song with me, Tori. Whom shall you attempt to send home this time? So, I'm to get my shot at all this then. How very thoughtful would be, reader, darling. Who shall lend her support? Sir Gilman. Find this night's daughter! She'll find it all his might! Bertrude. For that one, and for thee, reading one, we shall do this. Very well. Alright then, mates. No more waiting, no more holding back, and let's wreck them to shreds. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright, guys, let's go! What is the- Alright mate, something going real funny with that orb, as I can tell. Better wrap it up while we still can, eh? Indeed, something strange seems to have happened to the Celestial Orb. It showed us now itself possessed of the same chaotic power as their adversaries. What? Nightwings proved their worth. As for their adversaries, they did not. Thus ends the liberation rite. And thus, the scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. What a joke. Here I think we we're gonna make a cry after all this. Come on, mate. Spread out it up here. I've run out of this stuck up place. Let's get out of here, ready, eh? Yeah. 
So, what am I? Supposed to give a speech or something then? Reader darling, all of you. Look, I have no idea as to why you picked me. Well, I do have one, but I don't think it's right. If you wanted to get rid of me by now, you needn't have gone to such lengths, and so I'm left only to conclude that you did this for me. The year is a set down here, in one sense, they have all been such a waste, just utterly for nothing. Spectacularly so. I thought that my relationship with Tommy does had nowhere left to go but up, but, well, you know, not quite the case. But then, I think on one of what it has become of me, have I made no attempt to set things right? Had I not done everything I have, I could not have lived with that, I think. I was so certain that my life would end down here. I'm only now beginning to consider that the opposite may have come true instead. What I'm trying to say is, thanks to all of you, I need that. Now, I guess I better head on back to the damn Commonwealth, so bought us up. She plunges to the waters to shim pool and disappears from view, though her voice still rings out. We have to see what we can do out there, provided that my sisters haven't had their way with it just yet. Anyway, find a place, let's find a way to keep in touch, but just in case, goodbye. Hamita, earn back her freedom. May she return in glory. Godspeed, Amatha Thane. The cycle of her rights is nearly at an end. You return to the wagon after having prevailed against the distance and deliberation rights. How glorious might this turn out to be? Would that we make good of all such incidents. You succeed in reliberating Tamito, who returned to the calmness and glory. The last light of the stars still shine for us above at this point, which is to become of our plan. Needn't be the subject of our speculation. I trust that we'll learn the outcome soon enough. Our actions to this point shall pave the way, perhaps our fate as well. So, let's for now focus on this. We stand upon the brink of the last turn of the cycle at the right. Soon, we have a chance to, uh, we have a final chance to get one of you home. Now, reader, up for a little stargazing? Let's see where in the downside is final right. You turn back toward the darkness to look upon the last two stars stubborn to relinquish their light. Star stars yet burn for you atop the sacred mountain. Once more, you are to face the tempers then, although I wonder. He hesitates before saying anything further. He cannot sense his thoughts. I apologize. I was, I was lost in thought there for a moment. Let's make way for the swing at Jomir, but I never want to feel more refreshed as soon as possible. Mm. Following Pamita's deliberation, the little minister is turned to the wagon and sounds as though nothing has happened here this night. He tilts his head a bit as you approach. Once more, the night means have prevailed in liberation right under your mindfulness reader. A commendable achievement. Surely Tommy thought she'd live out her days of gratitude to you and your companions. Perhaps she might she may now see Rookie there in your commons. I should think Rookie would have liked to witness what took place this night. I trust that together they shall make a formidable difference to the plan which all of you endeavor to achieve. Now for the time so less than to return to our respective stations. Sima Clarictus. We shall wait the next turn of the cycle to rise. May you prevail once more when next we traverse Skyfield. Until then, reader, rest well under the stars. He now has an easy to recover after a long night. It is daybreak here to step forth now for the spring of Jamir. For what appears to be the final time, thereafter you shall return here for one last and solid final chance of liberty.
Ceratus. Ah, there you are, reader. Shall we get going then? You accompany the lone minister on an excursion through the dry forest to Guhai, where the stars themselves, themselves recently shed some of their splendor. Collecting stardust is a laborious and delicate process, though some find it rather meditative. And Tanya gathered a good supply of stuff and returned together to rejoin the others. He found a pile of stardust. Nice. Uh, guys, kind of wondering what her problem to a number with the wings. You know the one? Because she was kind of pretty, maybe, I suppose. She's still around by any chance because of, um, uh, well, anyways. Why, Thais? Thanks, guys. Good luck in that thing you're going to tonight. Okay, guys. A lot happened. And that'll be it for part 13 of Pyre. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.